Alphys? Uh, yeah. What? What happened? What happened? What about the floor? Alphys, you passed out. Apparently, that scene was a bit too much for you. It was. Oh my! What happened? Did they? Yeah, they did. Oh, right. Oh my! Alphys, I'm okay. <laughs> After a long night of passionate love making, Sienna and I woke up in one another's arms. Though we both cleaned up and dressed before bed, there were still obvious stains on the bed sheets, and just looking at Sienna was enough to make me blush. Even so, after making up my mind yesterday, I knew what I needed to do. Are you really sure about this? If you don't want to go, no one will force you. Will you stop saying that? I've already made up my mind. <laughs> okay, okay. Well then, there is. Is there anything you need to do? Or to bring? Interplanetary travel is neither easy nor instantaneous. We won't be able to return for a while if you forget something. Hey, hey, who do you think you're talking to? I have everything I need right here. I patted the suitcase I packed less than one hour ago. Inside were mostly clothes, but I also packed a picture of my family, some snacks of trip, and a couple of books. Really, then I suppose you'll at least want to say goodbye to your father first. My father, why would I want to do that? I love Papa, but there's no way I would even begin to explain all of this. So, let's just leave him alone. I see, so be it then. I'll put your father in his ordinary body and we'll begin our way. We'll be on our way. Dana touched her arm guard as though typing on a computer. She put the necessary command and a moment later, Simon's began to emanate from the downstairs. My eyes! Dear God, what happened to my eyes? Haha, <laughs> oops. I guess that's what happened when you got a few days of that gig. Hmm, your father appears to be in a lot of pain. Oh, don't worry about Papa. He's tough. Right. Well, just remember all this when you become a father. Me? Become a father? Ah, good with Sienna, but I know that's impossible. Even if a girl can be a king, it's still possible for me to impregnate someone. Oh, I see. So, two partners must be of the opposite set for reproduction between humans to work. Hmm, that explains a lot, but we aren't humans, are we? Not both of us, at least. So don't worry, my king, I shall bear your child yet. Uh, y you will? Absolutely, in fact, in fact, after the wild night we shared last night, I have little to doubt that your seed has already been planted. Eh? Uh, what are you talking about? How is that even possible? It is simple. During our bonding, we exchange ample body fluids. Using the excessive amount of DNA extracted from you, my body will begin to create a neutral knife. This is how humans procreate, correct? Uh... Well, she's not wrong, but I don't know if I'm really cut out to be a father. But there's no use complaining about it now. <laughs> Indeed. Well then, let us be off. We have a planet to rule, my liege, and a lot of work ahead of us. The end. Oh, I die. I'm glad that was over. Um, what do you think of it? Interesting. Very interesting. So, the girl becomes the king. And apparently there's a baby on the way. An interesting Alpha. Alphys, you were right, you were in the face there. Uh, can we please cut out the sex scene? And that was a bit too graphic, even for me. Oh my goodness. Oh, Alphys. What are we going to do with you? Thanks for playing. Since the day Sienna and I left... Oh! This is your part, Alphys. Since the day Sierra and I left Earth, many months have gone by. I've been living on Mars, so to be groomed into the royal of king, uh, the role of king, prepared to rule by Sierra's side. Our daily lives have been busy, filled with duties. I never thought royalty would need to concern themselves with, but even then, it's been it's been anything but boring. Look, my king, the resurrection of yet another monolith is nice complete. At this rate, our civilization will be rebuilt sooner than I dared dream. No sooner had we announced our marriage than the, the reconstruction of Mars began. Every day the people of Mars have been working hard, rebuilding the cities long forgotten. Amazing to think that we've already made it this far. I never knew being a king would be so rewarding. Ha <laughs> ha, this is only the start, my love. Just you wait, by the time, by this time next year's year, you'll be taking part in another rewarding venture. Sienna patted below her stomach as she spoke. She's talking about the children again. I'm thankful that Sienna put off that particular aspect of marriage while we rebuilt Mars, but 
Is it really that important that we have a child so soon? At any rate, I can't wait to see Bars once the recrash, the resurrection is complete. It'd be wonderful to see the civilization you knew from childhood. Indeed, though not as wonderful as... Ask Sienna and I spoke of peace and rehabilitation. We were greeted by a painful reminder of how far we had to go. What appeared before our eyes was a semi Autobicus fighting unit designed for interplanetary war. Fortunately, the unit had appeared before us, belonged to the kingdom, not our adversaries, who were not at risk. So we are at risk. Nevertheless, it's almost time, huh? This really won't end without a fight. The unit had appeared before us, surfaced in response to a growing need and to the danger we would soon face. As a true war, its presence signified the start of true conflict. Our strongest asset in our fight from here on out brought to the surface. The mightiest war machine at our disposal, the personal fighter unit of the late King of Mercury. That's the machine I'll have to use, right? Although Sienna kept relative silence on the subject, I already figured out that much on my own. As the new King of Mars, and by extension of Sienna's lineage, the new King of Mars, that machine was rightfully mine. Furthermore, it is said that only a true ruler can pilot such a massive unit, leaving only Sienna and I capable of taking up the reins. But with the absolutely no experience fighting, let alone using such a machine, the whole concept scares me. If it comes to that, yes. War is almost immediate, and you will be far more of a target than any others. If it's a certain this disentered breach our defences, you may have no choice. Sienna sounded remorseful, a self aborting message left above. True to her words, while many were thrilled to hear of our union, others saw this as a betrayal of the people and an excuse to escalate the ongoing conflict. It's scary to think that we we're already facing the possibility of death. Back on Earth, I would have dreamt of the opportunity to pilot something like that, but now. I agree, this is not how I wanted to spend our early days together, ruling side by side. However, as tough as it may be, we cannot allow the, ourselves to show weakness, neither in front of our enemy nor our allies. We bear the will of the people on our shoulders and we must put up a brave front. We must continue to work hard for the sake of our people, for the sake of the people, of our people. And if war truly is the only way to sell this, we'll be ready. Oh, you don't do like or like a cliffhanger. Is there gonna be a sequel? There might be, and I can't wait. I can't wait to see the war of the fighting on that robot. That robot was awesome. Elfes, can we build one of those? Uh, I think I could build one. I shouldn't be that hard. I've got the alloys and everything. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure we could build one. And I, if you help me, of course. I love helping you, scientific of mumbo jumbo and stuff. Yay! So, what's the next game we're going to play? Hmm, I don't know. Let's go find one. Come on, Adai. <gasps> Adai, the new Boo Boo Season 3 is out. It's airing today. Uh, right now. We're going to be late. Well then, what are we doing here? Bye, guys. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Well then, let us be up.